Pretty cool now. That big army truck. Just there. Okay, so Yana and I and Peter I'm are heading down to that secret <laughs> nuclear bunker. We've got to go to the house. And the entrance the house. is this bungalow. Okay everyone, Yana and I are about to enter that secret nuclear bunker here at Kelvedon Hatch in Essex and we're going to take you around and we're going to have a wonderful explore of this secret location. You ready Yana? Yeah. It is quite cold actually everybody and it's raining as well. So, but we'll be indoors in a minute. We'll be 120 feet underground, I think. And it's dark when you winter. Yeah, some spots are a little bit gloomy. Between 1947 and 1991, tension existed between the United States of America and the Soviet Union, the Western Bloc against the Eastern Bloc. It gave rise to that period in history known as the Cold War. Two superpowers competing against each other in the nuclear arms race. They were rivalries at sports events and competed against each other for the space race. There were propaganda wars on both sides and both sides feared an all-out nuclear war. As a result, secret nuclear bunkers were built, some we know about and I am sure many we do not. But today, Yana and I have brought you here to Kelvedon Hatch Secret Nuclear Bunker, which is one of Essex's worst kept secrets. The site was maintained during the Cold War as a potential regional government headquarters and is hidden beneath a bungalow, which is also the entrance into the secret facility. So join us as we explore a hidden world beneath our feet and discover what secrets exist in an underground bunker. The site was decommissioned in 1992 and since then it has served as a tourist attraction with a museum focusing on its Cold War history the bunker is built 125 feet underground and to reach that we must go through the bungalow and then follow a 100 yard long tunnel which exists at the lowest level. There are three levels in total all buried beneath a hill some distance away. So let's explore this incredible site. Are you ready Yana? Let's go. Okay everyone, we're heading down into the bunker now. So we're just walking through the bungalow. 
we're coming down to that entrance tunnel. There we go, look at that everyone. A huge tunnel taking us down deep underground into that secret nuclear bunker. A nuclear blast doors here, I can imagine. So these are doors they'll shut once everyone's in. Yeah. Each of these blast doors weighs about the same as a family car. That's huge, isn't it? Look, look. Mm. Ah, it's crackle. Look at this ivory. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? We've got some storage rooms just here, lovely. bottom floor so we're heading everybody into the military plant and communications departments oh there we go here's actually arrows everyone so we can actually follow the arrows so we were getting a little bit confused about which direction we need to travel in but I, don't know, I think we're going the right way yeah yeah we're ready yeah look that's pretty cool water is rationed Use it sparingly. Wow. These teleprinters sent and received messages from this government HQ. It's only a lot more primitive, everybody, than our phones and text messages now. Oh, you'll be okay. Thatcher, or whoever was Prime Minister at the time, could have made broadcasts to the nation had it been necessary to do so. As announced earlier this evening, the United Kingdom was heavily attacked with nuclear weapons at one o'clock this afternoon. Margaret Thatcher. Some of our cities and towns have been badly damaged. Others, together with wide areas of countryside, have been contaminated by radioactive fallout. As soon as the heat and blast waves have passed, one of you should leave your fallout room 
and find out the extent to which the house has been damaged. disposal here, the sewage and foul water flows to his floor and goes into a sealed chamber in the pit behind his door. When the cylinder is full, one of the two compressors blows the sewage to the surface, where it runs down by gravity into one of the two sewage fields out in the woods. So there must be a reason why this area, the area behind us, must have been protected under glass doors and airlocked. It's one of the main sewage areas as well, isn't it? That's all we can open, isn't it? Is it open now? That was the door we can open, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, we can come through We can open it for some reason. Yes, calling flight lieutenant in position. 
Flight Lieutenant Nicholson. Attention, attention. We're leading across from Oldman to bring the latest plots to the counter. Right, are you ready to head up to the next level, Nana? So it says here, the main stairway. It says, where you are now standing, you are some 80 to 100 foot below the surface. This is because you have traveled down a 120 yard tunnel into the side of a hill. This is the bottom floor and would thought to be the safest, which is why the military, the plant, and machinery which runs the one bunker and the communications were on this level. Very interesting. Sorry. Central operations. So everybody, the um, desks in this actual room it says from these desks, all essential supplies would be located and distributed throughout the country. Transport and welfare would also be controlled from here, as the officers kept in constant touch with their counterparts outside. And. Looks like there's designated spacing. So we've got chief clerk over there, fire commander, minister of defence, judiciary, housing and government, minister of transport. We have the Minister of Social Security, Home Office. So this entire room was would have been an extremely busy hub, keeping the country together after a nuclear attack. Quite interesting, isn't it? It's huge. Big old room. Got him. Some hats there. You want to try one on? One of those metal hats. Yeah, there's a metal one. That'd be cool. targets which I think they would be interested in, there would not be many parts of the United Kingdom which would not have pins in them. On August the 6th, 1945, an American plane dropped a bomb called Little Boy on the city of Hiroshima. Even now, people are dying from the after effects of that explosion. Today, weapons are a thousand times more powerful. The common view is that if we don't all die immediately, radiation will kill us painfully over the years. Flying upside downs. Flying upside downs. It's a bit cold in this
typical mushroom. It says here, it says there are a number of these throughout the bunker. The 24,000 gallons of water in the roof would give them just half a gallon of water a day. Once a bomb had gone off and they could not place, could not replace the water, they would stop using the toilets and showers and use the chemical toilets instead. Note that the soap has ER embossed upon it and the toilet paper has government property stamped on it. That's very interesting. So we've got showers in here everybody, wash basins and of course toilets in the far distance. Oh, no, it's right. Oh, my God, that's my big road. 